Well, from record setting snowfall to record warmth to the first recorded tornadoes in December, we just experienced an unprecedented week of weather in Minnesota, and it was a small part of an extreme week, week of weather nationwide. Yeah, there were some pretty unforgettable images, Jeff, and some concern, too, about what role climate change may be playing. The chaos began just over a week ago on Friday night and Saturday morning when a powerful storm that brought us snow spun up 59 tornadoes, mainly across Arkansas, Tennessee, Missouri, and Kentucky. Several tornadoes traveled over 120 miles through multiple states with winds estimated between 160 and 190 miles an hour. In Minnesota, up to 21 inches of snow fell. That was just east of St. Paul, while only an inch and a half fell in Big Lake, only 40 miles away. The storm set a new daily snowfall record in the Twin Cities with a total of 11.8 inches. By Monday and Tuesday, a fire hose of moisture called an atmospheric river took aim at the West Coast. The Los Angeles Basin experienced flooding and mudslides, while the Sierra Nevada Mountains to the west received as much as six feet of snow. By Wednesday, that same system was raking the Rockies and the Plains with 75 to 100 mile an hour wind gusts that kicked up dust storms from western Colorado to Kansas and produced 617 storm damage reports, including the first December tornadoes on record in Minnesota. This whole set of series of storms that we've seen are, are unusual for December. Many have been questioning whether global warming, climate change is at play. So I had a discussion with Dr. Gavin Schmidt, NASA's senior advisor on climate, and brought that question to him. Has there never been a, a tornado in Minnesota in December before? Not in recorded history, but I, it's very hard to tell that whether something like that is truly unprecedented or not. Uh, obviously, not a great sign. So right now, we have you know a warm Gulf of Mexico that, that's still warm, uh, even though we're kind of moving into winter, um, and we have uh, you know these, these kind of Arctic I, I, Arctic air masses uh, colliding. Uh, so that's that's an unusual situation. Without slashing global greenhouse gas emissions, the oceans and planet will continue continue to warm in the years to come. I asked if that will lead to conditions that are more favorable more often for tornadoes. We are very interested, obviously, in, in seeing how those, those environments are being nudged by climate change. I'm not sure it's the dominant feature, though. But some of those other things that you mentioned, the intense rainfalls, um, uh, the, the atmospheric rivers, the, the, I mean, the, 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 the anomalous heat, uh, all of those things uh, do have uh, quite a clear climate uh, fingerprint. I spent about 15 minutes talking with Dr. Schmidt discussing how the process of attributing specific weather events to climate change works, why NASA, the space agency, is interested in climate change on Earth in the first place, and what you and I need to start doing today to truly change our collective future. That interview in full will run on CBSN Minnesota on Tuesday evening at a 7. A lot of our heads might think, well, talk with the National Weather Service, but talking with NASA, I mean, everything starts up in space. Yep. They have that first look, so that definitely sounds they have, interesting. Uh, I think you said uh, about 25 five different platforms looking down on the earth to get an overall view. This is global climate change, Absolutely. not just local, so it, we need that global perspective.